Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. what's in my handbag when it comes to my personal handbags but I haven't done one for my work bag so I thought before I went ahead and got comfortable that I would do a work bag collection and show you what I carry in my work bag so if you would like to see my work bag collection and what I carry when I go into the office please keep watching so I have gone through many different totes when it comes to a work bag Just trying to find what my style is what's durable and what I like I've now narrowed it down to four totes and I think I'm pretty good with the four that I have right now so I think I'm going to you know give it a rest and not look for anything in particular for the time being but of course if I come across something and I like it you know I'm going to get it but for now these are the totes that I have and I'm going to start with the first one that I pick up and it's this a Michael Kors tote now this did come with a separate like tiny envelope clutch but I think I ended up giving it away I can't remember but it came with that and then it also came with another little insert which I'll show you when I show you my other bag because I'm using it in that bag right now but this is what it looks like it is black you, you can't go wrong with a classic black tote for work it goes with everything and so mine has gold hardware it has a front pocket here it has that same front pocket on the back it has these two shoulder straps they're not adjustable so this is the length of the straps and then it's just a big open compartment on the inside and this is just um, a sunglass case from Amazon that I have in there but that is what this bag looks like and for me for work um if you're new to the channel i go into the office two days a week so for me i don't carry a lot of things because for one we don't have our own personal offices we have what they call hotel offices so we have to reserve that space so i don't want to carry a lot because i'm it's not my space so i just carry exactly what i need I use that and I bring it on home. So I don't carry a lot and I don't carry a personal handbag. So all I'm gonna carry is my tote and then I may carry another small bag if I'm carrying lunch that day or something like that. But I will not carry a work tote and a personal handbag. I'm just not going to do that because it's just too much and I don't need all that stuff. So that is one reason why I'm really into totes when it comes to work. I don't have any totes in my personal collection because I'm not really a tote person, but I do like them for work because it just carries everything that I need. So this is the black one by Michael Kors. And then I have this gray one and I cannot remember where I picked this one up from. It has my initials embroidered here on the front. They are in gray stitching. You have your dark gray leather handles here, and then you have the chain longer strap. And this is, of course, a dupe to one of the Chanel tote bags. And I can't remember exactly where i purchased this from i've had this for a while now like a couple of years now so i don't know if i purchased this from like an instagram buyer or if i purchased this from etsy i'm sorry i just i cannot remember but i did have two of these i had it in this beautiful gray color and then i had it in like a tan color but i ended up giving the tan one away just because i wasn't using it um, so I wanted to keep the gray one just for those days when I'm wearing gray because you know me I love to color coordinate so this is a really nice tote for when I'm wearing like all of my grays and so this is what it looks like on the inside you have a huge zipper pocket right there and then just a big open space for the rest of it and it's very pliable so you can easily maneuver it around you can stuff it as much as you want and you don't have to worry about messing up the handbag or anything like that it's still going to keep its shape 
So I do like this handbag. It doesn't have any feet on the bottom. That would have been nice just so you can protect it when it's on the floor, but it doesn't. But that is this handbag and it does have a snap closure here if you wanted to kind of close it to protect your items inside of the bag you are able to do that if you don't have it you know filled to capacity so that is my second tote and then the next two totes are exactly the same you know my motto if i see something it comes in multiple colors i'm going to get the multiple colors and the first one that i have is this brown tote and i bought these from macy's they are by the brand INC and then this tote actually came with a smaller handbag I should have brought it in here but I didn't but it came with a smaller handbag I'm trying to describe I'm trying to think what is similar to it's one of the it's kind of like a small shoulder handbag but I'll pop up a picture to show you what I'm talking about but I love this handbag it is just so large it carries everything that i need and i don't have to worry about it so it is this soft light grainy leather these are the lengths of the straps they are not adjustable but they are a perfect length to carry on your shoulder and then on the inside you have a zipper pocket here in the back it's nice and large so you can put a lot of things inside of there and then you also have these two slip pockets right here that's good for like your phone cards or anything smaller and then the rest of it is just this big interior there and it also has a snap closure if you wanted to like protect some items from falling out i never snap mine because it's always filled to the rim so i'm not able to snap it shut but that's a nice feature if you're looking for that security so this is the brown one that i purchased for myself and then I ended up sending this one to my son and I was like, you know, I think it was around my birthday and I was like, well, if you're looking for, if you're looking for any birthday ideas, you know, I had my eye on this bag, you can get it. And so he ended up getting me this one and it's heavy because all of my stuff is in it. But then he ended up getting me this one in the snake print and it came with a black small shoulder handbag. bag. This one has all of the same features as the brown one that I showed you. And then I just added my little C charm here. And I just take this off of the bag and put it on whatever tote that I'm carrying that day because I just feel like it goes with all of them. I mean, obviously not the gray one. It doesn't go with that one. So that is the four tote bags that I carry to work. So let's see what I keep inside of them. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is this express dust bag and this keeps my shoes so if i'm wearing heels i don't drive or commute to work in my heels i'll have on flats and i'll just keep my heels in the dust bag and change once i get to work and you know change during my lunch breaks or whatever just because i don't like to walk around you know the streets or commute in my heels but if i'm wearing flats or something that's a little more comfortable then i won't take the dust bag and today the shoes that i wore are these quilted jessica simpson heels so these are the heels that i wore today so i'll just take these down in my closet i'll wipe them down real good with some wet wipes and some lysol and then i'll put the shoes back on the shelf where they belong so that is how i do my heels and then i also have this ysl makeup pouch that i showed you in my nordstrom anniversary sale haul it's a recent item that i just started carrying in my bag because i just received it and i was just like another makeup pouch what am i going to do with it but i actually put all of my personal handbag items in this pouch because like I said I don't carry any of my personal handbags to work with me so I will just have like all of my items like my keys my card or whatever that I will have in a personal handbag I'll just toss it in my work tote but now I'm using this pouch to carry all of those things and so the first thing that I have in here are my keys and then I have some what are these called business cards i went to a couple of stores today and they gave me business cards and then i have my card holder i have my ear pods 
and then I have some lip products. So that is what I have in my pouch and this is what I'll carry in any of the pouches and I'll just have like my personal items in this. So it's really nice and big and it fits all of those things. I can zip it up and just throw it in the back and I'm good to go. So happy that I have this and I have a good use for it. It's not just sitting on my shelf and not being used like a lot of my pouches but because I'm obsessed with pouches I just keep getting them. But I'm glad that I'm actually using this one. And then the next pouch that I have is just this little makeup pouch. I thought this was so cute. The purse and the shoes, makeup and the sunglasses. This is so me. So me. And I just thought it was really cute. And I think I got this from Shein. But inside of here, I just have this little brush that is totally deformed. I have some Vaseline lotion. And I have this little pouch here that has mini makeup brushes in it. It is so cute. I think I picked this up from Amazon, but I love that it has the little shimmery glitter in it, but it's not that messy glitter that falls off everywhere. It doesn't fall off at all. It's very smooth. And it has the little rose gold zipper. And then inside of it, these brushes need to be clean, so forgive me. But inside of it, you just have these little gold brushes. And they are just so tiny. Like, aren't they the cutest thing? And I believe it's about three or four of them in here. And then I have this little tiny Sephora eye brush. And I also have a foundation stick in here. So this is, so this is the Merit foundation stick so this is just if i don't have time to put on you know a little bit of makeup in the morning i'll just you know do that really quickly at my desk or if i need to touch up throughout the day so that's why i have that and i just didn't want the makeup brushes to be oh you know loose in my bag to mess up everything else so that's why i'm glad it came with this little pouch then i have a bunch of lip products in here i have hand sanitizer i have a tide clean stick because every single time i wear white it ends up getting a spot on it so i have that and i have some more lip pencils i have this really tiny claw clip i don't know what i'm using with that because i definitely don't use this with my natural hair so i don't know what i'm doing with that tiny thing i have some lipsticks in here so a lot of lip products I have in here and then I also have some nail glue just in case you know one wants to pop off I can fix it real quick and then I have a charger and I think that is pretty much everything that I have in this pouch so this is like my little makeup pouch for my work bag and then the next pouch I have is that Michael Kors pouch that I told you came in that first black tote that I showed you. And it has these little clips here where you could put a strap and you can carry it like a crossbody or something like that. And then it has a little pocket right here. So inside of this pouch, I just have like my cords to um, charge my phone. I have some highlighters, some pens. I have some straws because a lot of the places downtown have the paper straws and I can't stand those. So I'll just take a whole bunch of, so I'll just take my own little plastic straws if, you know, I need to use a straw because I just don't like those paper straws. So I have a ton of plastic straws inside of here and then just chargers and pens and have more sanitizers. So this is kind of like my mm, tech bag with straws yeah that's what we're gonna call this this is like my tech bag with straws so that is that pouch and then the last pouch because i told you guys i am just the pouch queen but the last pouch i had is this louis vuitton insert this was in the never full handbags the mm and the gm i've had both of those and i again i'm not a tote person for my personal handbags so it just didn't fit in my lifestyle and me personally i didn't feel like they were really good work bags either because the strap was just so thin so if i put 
all of my things in it. I just felt like it was so heavy and it really did hurt my shoulder. So I ended up selling both of them. I first had it in the MM size and I thought, well, maybe this might just be a little too small. I need the bigger size. And so I bought the, sold the MM, bought the GM. And then I was like, yeah, I just, I'm not feeling this at all. So I ended up selling the GM, but I did keep the pouch just because I thought it was useful. So inside of here, I just have a bunch of napkins and some wipes because like I said, we do have the hotel offices where we have to reserve our spaces and I'm always wiping down the keyboard, the mouse, the desk, the chair, everything that I'm potentially going to touch. I'm wiping it down with the Lysol wipes. So I keep this pouch for all of those things so I can wipe down the area that I'm going to be sitting in for that day. So those are the three pouches that I have in the bag. I also keep a notebook in my handbag. This notebook I think I picked up from Marshalls and I just love that it has like this little brown leather cover. I just thought that was really nice. So this is just the notebook that I use for meetings, taking notes and jotting down things. So that is my notebook. I do have a couple other notebooks and calendars, but I just don't have them in the bag right now. They're um, on my desk over there. So I do have a couple of other little notebooks and tablets and calendars and things like that. I also have my sunglass case. These are Chanel and these actually are a recent purchase. Um, Cause like I said, I buy all of my sunglasses from Amazon, but I saw these and I thought they were so cute. So I picked them up. So it just has the Chanel logo right here. It has the three little pearls right here. And I think this is what sold me the three pearls because I love pearls. I also love the tortoise shell. That is like my favorite style. Cause you know, I'm obsessed with anything leopard print. And I just thought these was really, really cute. So these are my latest purchase. I think I only have two pair of designer sunglasses. I have these and then I have a pair of Burberry ones in the color black that my husband got for me. So everything else, all other sunglasses are from Amazon. So those are my sunglasses. And then the last thing and most important thing that I keep in my work bag is my laptop. And this is just a cover that I picked up from Amazon simply because I don't like when it looks dirty with like fingerprints or stains or anything like that. So I bought this cover to protect it. It doesn't quite fit this laptop. I don't know if you can tell like from the edges, it's not a perfect fit. It's because this is a new laptop. I had a smaller one before, so this cover fit on that laptop much better, but they just upgraded us. And now this one's a little bigger, but I just put the same cover on this laptop because that's just all I had at the moment. So, so this is my work laptop. And sometimes I would take my MacBook and my mouse if I'm working on something and I need my personal computer. So sometimes I will also have that in this bag and it will get really, really heavy. So I don't try to do that too often because I don't want to, you know, hurt myself with it. So yeah, those are all of the items that I keep in my work bag. And that is my work bag collection. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. But before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.